circuits means the circuits which are helpful for generating sweep signal we are going to discuss in this presentation so there are few circuits which it generates a sweep signals like we can generate sweep signals by using exponential sweep circuit or by using a unijunction transistor ujt or by using a transistor switch and how we can generate these sweep signals using these components so we'll discuss in this presentation let's move to the exponential sweep circuit as you see this is a simple circuit which is having a resistor and capacitor in connected towards a switch yes and with a supply voltage capital b where the sweep voltage is the voltage across the capacitor v not equals to vs a figure shows an exponential sweep circuit in which the switch s is normally closed and it will be open for t greater than 0 it to open at this instant t equal to 0 so for t greater than 0 when this switch is open means you will find a direct connection between a supply voltage and the capacitor through resistor r and this capacitor starts slowly charging so as we already know that this capacitor cannot change its charge instantaneously so this capacitor charges exponentially in this fashion with a time constant of rc so the general form of exponential equation the voltage across the capacitor at any instant will be given by v not of t equals to v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc so after the interval of ts means we require only sweep signal means in this even though we find an exponential signal out of this large exponential signal if you take a very small part of it it form it looks like a approximately sweep approximately linear not exactly linear but approximately linear sweep signal is there so this up to this part if we charge the circuit or the if we collect the voltage that voltage can be a sweep voltage so after an interval of time ts means at this instant now when the sweep amplitude attains a value vs means this is sweep voltage then the switch closes again when this switch gets closed what happens it forms a short circuit across this capacitor so the current directly flows through this switch to the ground and the capacitor will not charge from t greater than 0 onwards so the resultant sweep waveform is as shown in figure now with this exponential sweep circuit how to derive the relationship between the parameters of linearity like slope or sweep speed error transmission error and displacement error for this exponential sweep circuit will be discussed in the next slide the slope or sweep speed error for exponential circuit can be derived as shown here the output is obviously exponential signal which is represented in terms of v not of t equals to v into 1 minus e power minus t by rc whereas this uh, sweep speed error is defined as the difference between rate of change of output voltage at the beginning of the sweep and the rate of change of output voltage at the end of the sweep divided by initial value of the slope so to find out this first we need to find db not by dt so for this if we derive derivative applying derivative for this equation with d with respect to time we will find db not by dt is equals to v into e power minus t by rc by rc so substituting with respect to t equal to 0 and t equal to ts in this equation we will find so if you substitute t equal to 0 you will get e power 0 equals to 1 it becomes b by rc minus if you substitute t equal to ts you will find v into e power minus t by ts by rc by rc divided by v by rc so taking v by rc common in the numerator so this v by rc and uh, denominator v by rc gets cancelled you will be left with a single term called 1 minus e power minus ts by rc now expanding this e power minus x term in its uh, infinite series it becomes 1 minus of 1 minus ts by rc plus minus ts by rc whole square into 1 by 2 factorial and so on so ignoring these second order and higher terms 
So what we find is a 1 minus 1 plus Ts by Rc. This 1 1 gets cancelled and you will be left with Es equals to Ts by Rc. Now in the output V0 equals to V into 1 minus E4 minus T by Rc at T equal to Ts means at the end of the sweep time. So the output will be the maximum value called Vs magnitude. So Vs equals to V into 1 minus E4 minus Ts by Rc. And substituting here e, e power minus x in terms of its exponential uh, infinite series, you will find v into 1 minus of 1 minus ts by rc plus minus ts by rc all square 1 by 2 factorial and so on. Here also, ignoring this second order and higher terms, you will be left with 1 minus 1 gets cancelled, it will be v into ts by rc. So Vs equals to V into Ts by Rc and if you take this V to the left hand side it becomes Vs by V equals to Ts by Rc. So to derive a relationship between this sweep voltage and the display, uh, sweep speed error. So you can tell that since Es equal to Ts by Rc. So Vs by V equals to Ts by Rc equals to Es. So the smaller the sweep amplitude compared to the sweep voltage the smaller will be the slope error means if the slope error is a uh, minimum you know the signal will be more approximately equals to a linear signal or exactly linear signal if the error is uh, less it, it will be more linear coming to the transmission error so as we see as shown in a figure so transmission error is uh, defined as the difference between input and output divided by input signal if input signal is actually ideal ramp it is a vs dash and it will be vs dash minus vs by vs dash so vs equals to v into e 1 minus e power minus ts by rc since it is an exponential equation here and at t equal to ts means at the end of the pulse this amplitude output voltage amplitude is Vs. So substituting that Vs equals to capital Vs equals to V into 1 minus E power minus Ts by Rc. Expanding this E power minus x term in terms of infinite series we'll get V into 1 minus of 1 minus Ts by Rc plus minus Ts by Rc whole square into 1 by 2 factorial and so on. then again simplifying it so considering only these two terms here this one and one gets cancelled vs equals to capital v into ts by rc minus one by two into ts by rc whole square this is actually capital vs the initial slope dv naught by dt at t equal to zero is v by rc if the same initial slope means the slope at the initial stage of the voltage is maintained so the maximum value it can reach is actually vs dash so maximum value could be vs dash so at t equal to ts vs equals to vs dash that equals to ts into v by rc if initial slope was maintained so substituting all these values together in the formula which is uh, for transmission error difference uh, between input and output by input signal will get substituting vs dash means v into ts by rc minus vs value what you have derived here divided by vs simplifying it and you will get ts by 2rc where we, in the previous error which is a sweep speed error we have derived es equals to ts by rc substituting ts by rc here equals to es it becomes es by 2 so it implies that the transmission error is equals to sweep speed error by 2. In this way we derive transmission error for exponential sweep circuit. The displacement error can be is actually defined as the difference the maximum difference between the two amp sweep signals actual sweep and the sweep signal which is vs minus vs dash divided by the amplitude of the sweep signal at t equal to ts which is capital vs means ed equals to 
vs minus vs maximum divided by amplitude maximum by amplitude at the end of the sweep which is capital vs to derive that see at a t the maximum difference between these two signals occurs exactly at the center of these two sweep signals why because if you go here the difference is somewhat less compared to the difference so the maximum difference between the actual sweep and sweep signal occurs exactly at the center of this means at t equal to ts by 2 so at t equal to capital ts by 2 vs dash equals to exactly so this vs by 2 the actual sweep vs is given by this actual sweep signal is an exponential form actually so this vs equals to v into 1 minus e4 minus t by rc and at t equal to ts by 2 this vs will be so v into 1 minus e4 minus ts by 2 rc so expanding this e4 minus x term in terms of infinite series and considering the first two terms and ignoring higher order terms more than third order terms we'll get so this one and one gets cancelled and we'll be left with v into ts by 2rc minus ts by rc whole square into 1 by 8 now at t equal to ts means at the end of this pulse the output v0 is the maximum value which is capital vs now this vs can be written in terms of exponential equation itself vs equals to v into 1 minus c4 minus ts by rc at t equal to ts now expanding this e4 minus x term also in terms of infinite series and ignoring the high, higher order terms more than 2 then we will be left with v into ts by rc minus 1 by 2 into ts by rc whole square now substituting these values into calculator displacement error which is ed equals to the maximum difference between the two actual sweep signal and sweep signal vs minus vs dash divided by magnitude of the sweep at the end of sweep time ts so vs minus vs dash maximum divided by mag amplitude at the end of the pulse so this vs is actually this one so ts by vs is actually derived here vs equals to v into ts by 2rc minus 1 by 8 into t by rc whole square minus vs dash is actually this vs by 2 whatever vs we have found here this one by 2 gives us vs dash so v by 2 into ts by rc minus ts square by rc square into 1 by 2 divided by maximum value vs exactly v into ts by rc minus ts by rc whole square into 1 by 2 so simplifying this mathematically and taking a v by 2 common from the numerator and v by denominator 2 2 gets cancelled and it gets again simplified and will be resolved with a value called 1 by 8 into ts by rc as we already remember this ts by rc is actually sweep speed error so this can be termed in terms of es by 8 that implies displacement error equals to 1 by 8th of sweep speed error so from by deriving all these relations we can this actually proves that the displacement error equals to es by 8 that equals to et by 4 or sweep speed error equals to 2 into et equals to 8 into ed if a capacitor c is charged by a constant current i then the voltage across a c is i t by c hence the rate of change of voltage with the time is given by sweep speed equals to i by c so this is the parameters which are ET, ES and ED derived for exponential sweep circuit which is this one. In the next class we will discuss about UJT sweep circuit.